So, I got my lighting situation figured out again. Star scorecard, score cheat code 5.9C. Again, these are, this is the most important teak out of the 5.9s. Uh, this is video number two. We're going to do five questions. All right, so. Number two. The graph below shows the, how the prices of two different menu items at a restaurant have changed from year to year, uh, from year one to year seven. The triangles, so this is the triangles, this line, and these are the circles, hamburgers versus chicken sandwich. Okay. In year eight, the price of the hamburger will be $7. Hmm. I guess this is a pattern, right? You go up one year, and then you stay the same, and then up, and then stay the same, and then up, and then stay the same. So, it would do that, right? Theoretically. Okay, so, let's look. Hamburger is the triangle, or, well, it won't be so confusing. Hamburger is the triangle, chicken is the sandwich. So, in year eight, the price of the hamburger will be seven dollars. Here's seven, year eight. Ah, oh, that is correct. Okay, if the price continues to change this way, which statement F is correct? In year nine, the price of the chicken sandwich, so the circle, uh, will be nine dollars. Nine, year nine, okay, year nine, will be nine dollars. Year nine, coming up, will be eight fifty. Nope, that is incorrect. In year eight, the difference between the price of the chicken sandwich and the price of the hamburger will be one dollar. Well, what's the difference every year? It's uh, five fifty and seven dollars. So that's a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. Mm -mm, that's wrong. And in year nine, the price of the chicken sandwich plus the price of the hamburger will be sixteen fifty. Year nine, let's do seven dollars plus eight fifty. No, seven plus eight is 15, right? And then if you have 850, it would be 1550, so that's wrong. F, F's our answer. Number three, the scatter plot, the scatter plot uh, below shows movie theaters will be di with different numbers of screens and their average weekly attendance. So the number of screens, our X value, and the weekly attendance is the Y value. Okay. Based on the trend, remember scatter plots are from tr are for trends. So we could say, yeah, is that is that kind of a trend? That's kind of it, right? I think so. Um, based on this trend uh, in the scatter plot, approximately, roughly, how many people will be in attendance at a movie theater with eight screens? So let's go eight. So eight, we. We have this much, right? Maybe, okay, notice notice how approximate that is. Now, let's compare it to our answers. 90 people, 90 people, that's option A, okay? 105, okay, this is 110, so this is 105, okay, this is B. 85 is C. 85 would be like underneath, so it's not C. Let's just skip C. And D is 140. Oh, okay. 110, 130, 140. All right, so this is going to be 140. D. What do we think? B seems like the most in the middle, right? I'm going to think it's B is the answer, okay? 140 would be the very top of the list, of the, uh, you know, of the, of the scale. All right, and so let's, let's look at this again. We're, we're between 140 and 105. So if I'm just gonna come, you know, maybe it is. Maybe it is 140. So let me ask you this. On your star test, if you get to a question like this, you're like, ah, don't beat yourself up about it. Go with what you think. Don't second guess. Some of you might have said 105. It's going to be 105. Okay, eight screens, 105 right here. And then D 
140. This is one. Uh, oh, I miscounted. Look, 110. So 120. 130. 140. Okay. So some of you, it's up to you guys. I think I would go with B. I'm going to go with B. And some of you might go with D. It doesn't matter. Do the best you can on each problem, then move forward. Okay. <clears throat> the frequency table shows the colors that fifth graders preferred for their school shirts. Okay. So here's the colors, and here's how many people voted. All right. Based on the data on the table below, how many students preferred three colors that had the highest frequency? Okay. Um, the three colors that had the highest frequencies. Okay, so here's the highest, blue, and then purple, or purple, then blue, then, then red. Those are the three. So based on the data on the table, how many students preferred the three colors that had the highest frequencies? These are the highest numbers. So let's add them together. 32 plus 35 is 767. 67 plus 38 uh, 7 plus 8 is 15, carry the 1, 10, 105. J, multiple step problems. All right, two questions left. Two questions left. This is a stem and leaf plot. The stem and leaf plot shows the scores of how many students? Of eight people at a dance contest. Eight. Okay, and look, 6, 8 means 6.8. Okay. So this isn't tens and ones, this is a ones place and the tenths place, these are decimals. What is the difference between the highest score and the lowest score? 6.8 is the lowest score. Okay, so 6.8, and what's the highest score? 9.7, 9.7. So the difference, that means subtraction. We're gonna use a subtraction, okay. So we know how to do stem and leaf plots. This is 9.5, 9.7, 8.2, 8.7. .8 so we'll subtract. Borrow from the 9, that's 8. Now 17 minus 8 is 9. Here's our decimal, lower it. 8 minus 6 is 2, 2.9. That's the difference between the highest and the lowest. So the lowest is always going to be the top number to the left, and the highest is going to be the bottom number to the right. Last question. Last question in nine point C or nine point yeah, nine point C. Nine five point nine C. <laughs> uh, the bar graph shows the numbers of bags of two brands of dog food that were sold at a store. One bar uh, one bar for day five is missing from the graph, okay? Brand Y is missing from day five. Okay. The number of bags brand Y dog food. Uh, brand wide dog food sold on these five days was 175. Okay, so it gave us the total of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. It's 175. So we need to subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, and that will give us, you know, whatever 5 is. So let's do that. 1 is 35. Uh, 35, so that would be 1. 2, 3, 4. 2 is 50. 3, 35. 4 is 20. And notice how you always have to write stuff down. Your star test is really good at making you write things down and use your pencil. So 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 5 is 9. 12, 14. 140. So what is 175, 175 minus 140, 5, 3, 35, 35. So we're looking for 35, 35, 35, 35. G is our answer. Okay. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know what I can do to help. See you next time.